Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here on behalf of Diamond Dyes as part of Diamond Dyes Design Team. For those who don't know, Diamond Dyes makes steel wool dyes in many shapes and sizes for all your crafty needs. I will put the link down below to Diamond Dyes Shop as well as Facebook page and YouTube channel. The shop, of course, that's what you do there. You shop, so please go there and do that. Uh, the Facebook page, you can see other designers' works. You can keep up on the happenings at Diamond Eyes, participate in challenges and card swaps, and Dee gives uh, random giveaways for comments left on the Facebook page. So you want to keep all of that in mind. Um, right now, if you go to Diamond Eyes and you shop and spend a lot of money. <laughs> if you use the code Black Friday 15 now through November 28th, which is Saturday, you will get 15% off your order, your entire order, and guess what? There's no minimum, and it's free shipping anywhere. So you want to take advantage. This is the first time we've ever had a new release come out at the same time as a sale. So um, if you love the new releases that you may have seen in my video yesterday, then you're going to want to run over there and grab what you can. So um, don't forget the code is Black Friday 15. So now, um, first let me apologize for my room being dark and the angle of my camera, but there's a reason for it and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, first though, I want to show you um, the dies that I've used to create my project and I first used uh, from the older collections I used the bow die set and I used the smallest one there I used the nesting circle set I used the star nesting and you guys know I love these nesting dies they're like my favorite and then from the new release I used um, this ornament die, which I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got stars and little circles cut out in the ornament shape. Really cute. That's from our new release. These mini leaves are brand new, and they are mini, and they are so stinking cute when you cut them out. I have some samples there, but you'll see them again in just a minute. So um, really super cute. And then we have these brand new dies, two diamond dies, and they are flippets. And I showed you a video yesterday on them um, in the new product release, and then I showed you how to use them. But there are so many ways to use these dies that I'm sure between myself and the rest of the designers, you're going to find out how to use them. And that's what they are here. They're these dies, and they're called flippets. And what I showed you yesterday was this one here, and it showed how to make it like an easel card. But of course, if you take this card and you flatten it out, back to where how it was I flip this part over and you bend this one forward now you have a different kind of a card where you can put your sentiment here and when you open it up it moves to the left there and then you can write more inside the card so there's tons of ways to use this and I found another way so I'm going to share that with you right now and I am also going to show you a tutorial um, at the end, so you may want to, if you're interested in knowing how I did it, then just stick around and I'll share that with you. So my project is going to require a tea light, so I'm going to put that out here for just a moment. And this is what I came up with. I made these cute little lanterns. That's why my room is dark, because I wanted you to be able to see the light poking out from the um, die cuts that I used, the mini leaf die you can see them all around there. And this is the um, Flip It, and I used it in a different way. So I'm going to share that with you. I embossed um, Happy Thanksgiving with the turkey. And then I put that little bow with a um, pearl in the center. And then I glittered the edges, which I thought was really cute. And it looks so pretty. And it's just simple and fast and easy to create. So um, I'm going to show you how to do these at the end. And I made one more to share with you. And this one is actually going to be a Christmas one. And I basically used the dies to do the same thing. Only this time, that one was the top note. And this one is just the circle one. And you can see there, I used the ornament. And I punched out the stars and put some glitter around the stars glitter paper and this fuzzy trim here really cute and and it's such a nice little festive thing to add to your christmas table or maybe you have a a decorative area of you know 
that you've set up and you can theme this to whatever you want it to be. So I thought they were super cute. Now show them in the light once I turn everything on and do the um, tutorial. So stick around for just a minute and I will be right back with the tutorial. Okay, let there be light. Yay! <laughs> anyway, here is the Thanksgiving one. You can see it a little better. Um, how I added the bow with the pearl center, glittered the edges, and then I cut out those um, leaves, as you can see there, in several places. And then I glued leaves out of uh, cardstock. And it just simply folds like this. So it's really cute. And you can mail these off even um, if you tell someone that they need to use tea lights with them. I mean, they're they're cute to, to send off. Here's the, um, the second one I did, and that's the um, ornament. So you can see basically how I did that as well. And because this required a different procedure than the first one to do, I'm going to show you more or less how to make this one. Um, so basically that's that. So let's get started. Um, first thing I'm going to need is my scoreboard and my card stock to make the lantern. Now I'm giving you my measurements, but you can use your own. Um, you might want them taller or shorter or whatever, but that's up to you. So mine measures 10 and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to be scoring this at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and 10. So now we have four score lines in there. I'm just going to go ahead and um, fold these up. And you'll see when you fold it in the, the five inch mark, that's going to be the front of the lantern or the back, whichever. And there's an overhang here. That's going to be how you connect the pieces together. And I'll show you that further. I'm just going to go ahead and score these lightly with my fingers so that you can see what I'm doing as I do it and um, it'll make the process of putting it together a little easier down the road as well. So now I've got all those scored lightly with my finger. I'm gonna move that out of the way and I'm going to bring up my uh, cutting machine so that I can show you how this part works. And I hope I'm gonna be in camera, let's see, right there. Okay, so what we need to do is like with the card um, that I showed yesterday, you're going to lay your card in here flat. And this piece is where the two and a half inch score mark is, right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the flip it, and this is the circle flip it right here. We're going to take this piece right here. Yesterday when I showed how to make the card, I told you that this edges needed to touch that score line. But in this instance, they don't touch the score line. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay that on here and you're going to try to keep it about a sixteenth of an inch. I mean, it's just a hair away from that score line. You don't want that score line to be cut into. So I'm going to try to get it right there. And if you want to, you can washi tape it if you're not secure with um, you're afraid it'll move or whatever. I just do it. So um, we're going to go ahead. Oops, I'm too close to the tripod. Roll that through. And this is on the top of the two inch, two and a half inch score mark. And then when that comes out, I'm going to push it back through. And I'm going to lay my card back down again. I'm going to pick up the other part of my flip it. And I'm going to put it at the bottom half of that two and a half inch score mark. Again, being sure not to touch the score line and also lining it up with the cut that's on the other side of that score line. So I'm going to try to do it about right there. Again, if you don't feel secure with it, just use some washi. Um, there we go. Now I'm going to roll that through. There we go. Okay. So now when you remove your little flip it, you're going to see that we've created one entire piece there that goes through and that will be that part that pops out on the front of your lantern. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for one second 
because the next thing I need to do to show you exactly the one that I made is I'm going to need to take a piece of glitter paper. Um, I got this paper, which is fabulous. I love this. Um, I went and made sure to pick up some more before they run out of it um, at the Dollar Tree, and I'll show you the packaging in just a moment. It's not paper. It's kind of um, really thin, but oh my gosh. And this is the kind of stuff that doesn't come off on your fingers, so I love it. And it came in a package of three and it was gold red and the silver so not bad for a dollar so anyhow um, what I need to do with this now is it's a bit complicated but if you listen to me through this you'll understand when we put okay this piece is solid here so if you were to cut this right through it the whole the whole ornament would just cut out it wouldn't work um, in order for the light to shine through those areas of the open part of this ornament, you're going to need to cut a circle here so that the light can come through. On my original one, and I'll show you that again, you can see I have this glitter paper around, and this is how I achieved that. I simply laid down the second part of the uh, Flip It die, which is this here, and then I took my nesting circle and I found a die that fit this ornament where it would not block any of those holes that are going to be punched out. I need the circle to be that big. Nothing bigger because then you have nothing to glue your ornament to. So I took that circle and I centered it inside of this circle. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I do this good. Uh, always hard when you're on camera trying to show something like this. It really doesn't take a long time. It's just it takes longer for me to explain than it does to actually put it together. I'm running this back and forth a couple of times because this again is like a um, plastic paper and it doesn't always come out easily so you definitely have to um, pull at it a little bit to get it away from the um, you have to find where it's going to give, and if it doesn't give, then you might have to run your X-Acto knife. But if you just pull on it, um, it'll just come right out like this. Hold on, i got a stuck part. Okay, so that other piece you can save for another project. And this one, we're going to bring it, now we're going to bring back the card base, this thing here. And we're going to put this down, and we're going to take that little circle from the nesting circle, not the flip it one, but the smaller one. We're going to set that down right in the middle of the one that we've already um, cut. I want to make sure it's kind of centered. I, I didn't, it's hard to tell from my angle, but I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and run that through. I think I just moved it. <laughs> that's why you might want to washi tape them down, but I'm not going to do that today. All right, run that through just like that. And now we have that hole cut out of the center of this part here, just like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take that pretty glittered circle that I just created, and we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm just using some wet glue here just really quickly. And I'm going to adhere that right to this part, right over that opening that we cut. See there? Just like that. Okay, I've already gone ahead and taken the ornament die, and I cut out an ornament. This time I did a red one. And we're going to come back here, and we're just going to put some glue lightly around the edges of this particular cutout. And then that's going to get placed right on top of that circle that we cut out. That's how you're able to let that light shine through in that space. So now the last couple of steps that we have, and again, this is um, only if you want to, um, if you want to cut out other stars like I did here, or any other dies that you have that um, you want to use, all you need to do is do that now while this is still laying in its flat position. And I'm just going to do one because I just want to show you how to do this part as well with the silver. So I basically laid my star down, ran it through, 
And you can decide where you want to place them, how you want to place them. It's up to you. So um, I did that, and there you see I have my little punch out, right? So now I want to make the outline for that. So I need to take from my nesting star die the next die. You can see it's just bigger than this one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my silver paper back again. I'm going to cut out um, what I need. Sorry, I'm off camera doing that because you don't need to see me dropping scissors and all that stuff. So here we go. I'm going to get that little silver piece and I'm going to lay that down here on my cutting plate. I'm going to lay down that bigger star face down with the cutting downward and then I'm going to take this baby star and ever so carefully just kind of layer it in there in the center. You can again tape these if you feel like you need to. I'm not going to tape it. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> so I nested those two together. Put this on here and again remember you have to run it through a couple of times. Um, oh sorry if you use this paper only because of the the plastic texture of this paper. It just doesn't come through. And I'm going to do a couple of extra times because I had to actually use my X-Acto knife um, to cut around the littlest star there. Um, it just wouldn't come out. I hope I don't have to do that today. But let's see how we go. Let's get the big one. Remember how I said you have to pull it away. So there's the big one. That was successful. And let's see how I can get this little one out. I may have to not be able to get it out <laughs> for the video. I hope so. It's, it's just that plastic stuff that makes it um, hard to cut out. So let me give me just a minute. I'm working on it here, but you know how it happens. You get on camera and then everything goes crazy. I probably should have done, oh, I tore it. Okay, well, you might need to use your X-Acto knife with this. Um, again, I'm just trying to give you a a how-to, but I didn't tear it out as good as I could have. But basically all you do is you take that star and you lay it on top of the other that you've already punched out. And that's how I did that. So once that's done, sorry for that little catastrophe, you're going to come back to your card and there's this little half inch strip right here and that's where you're going to add your um, adhesive. And um, you want to make sure to do it on the right side of the where your um, your decorative part is. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. Sorry, this is taking long. Really, they don't take long to make it all in person. So now I'm just going to fold that and I'm going to lay that piece down just like that. Probably don't need this in my way. Lay it down there. And I'm going to bring my card over and just lay it down and push like this. And that's basically how I achieved those lanterns. You pop that out a little, crease, make sure you get your creases going on good. And there you go. That's basically how that comes together. So really cute. Another way of using these flip it dies than just cards. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. And again, I'm sorry for the the length of this is just not as easy to walk you through it as it is to actually make them. So thank you for watching. Until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.